This guy's horrible at this game. Cookie time. God. Let me in. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Hello. Is there something around here? <laughs> Yuri's coming in with the clutch new one. What's up, Rooster? Welcome to the street. Take a photo treaties. Yum yum. Guys, getting all them treaties. Take a photo treaties. Look at them doggies. Oh, now it's on the ground. Okay. Got it. Hey. Is that what those are called? The windmills? Wings? Hmm. I thought they were called blades. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. It's Got kind of what it. uh, Chris did. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. Getting closer. Eats the sun. Was that the the drawing of that thing? You're in the middle. That was eating field. the sun. Warm. You're warming up. I thought I saw a drawing of the wolf eating the sun. Oh, solar panels. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Oh, it burns! It burns us! Now you're totally frozen. Fuck. Eats the sun. Dude. Hey. Hey. Do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But Oof. the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. Hey, listen. I'm listen. Just glad we're still a family out there. They are blades from what I saw seemed a good guess. That was a great guess. You nailed it. Plants, they eat the sun. Is that why it was saying it here? Warm. I think you're right, you're nope. er, uh, Fragger. As cold as ever. Getting closer. Where? I thought it would be like... Hmm. Way cold. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Uh... Warm. I see no... Clues. I already checked these. Dude, you're a snowman. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food. Not money. You're a snowman. What are you talking about, mate? <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Button. Repeat the clue. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The setting item is where the sun meets the earth. Yeah. Hmm. You're lost, Sean. It's got to be over here. Warm. Or is this? Warm. It's close, Sean. There. Fragger's throwing me off with the plants. That was actually a very good guess. Hey, you're you got the new cake, new cake emote too. Nice. All right, in the junk pile. Found it. Nice. 
And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! Ahoy, I think me. I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure. Yeah, it was Chris. Hey, they're leaving the hot zone. Am I? Hold on. We haven't checked this stuff yet. Soda can. Sorry if you still have our candy. All right. Flashlight. What is this? Curry. Ooh, curry sounds good. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff to read. Karen wants to talk. It's hard, but I'm trying to hear her out. I'm not sure I'll understand what she has been through or what she's after, but I can try. We got Daniel, finally. The freak guru can go to hell now. Feels so good to be with my bro again. Leaving Hayden Point, Karen is taking us to her place. We need to breathe, sleep, heal. Blah, 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 blah. Sarah Lee, this needs to go. Okay. Karen lives in a desert commune. No shit. Unincorporated community, she said. It's called Away. Only 30 people live here on off. The place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing the perfect hideaway. Daniel's still feeling so confused, guilt-tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing, the lies, Elizabeth's grasp over his trauma. Doing my best to help him recover. They should be fine now. Karen is a big help, too. She's good with words. That letter from Jacob and Sarah made him happy. Daniel needs more friends, so do I. Sean, we're posing. Total trip to live with Karen again. She wants to move on. That's easiest for her to say. Easier for her to say. I'm trying. Daniel's getting better. I can see he loves having mommy back. Daniel's power is no secret here. No one gives a shit. They go along with it and don't see it as something they can use to their own advantage. And for refreshing. Roar. Who's going to tell? We're already the batshit crazy sand people, David. Haha. <laughs> So this place away is what you make it. Joanne haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing to a best friend, it seems. Cool as heck, ornamental tattoos. Take my time today. Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together 10 years ago. Oh, that's cool. From ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple, young love. That's adorable. Got a letter from Cass today. Feels good. Love to hang with her again someday. This place could make makes me want to draw. Could stare at these canyons forever. Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my eye. Need to find ways to help him process this. Did he draw on my journal? Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top after a long hike across the canyon. Track sessions feel like forever ago. Need to work on my cardio. Don't fall, mate. Ursa Major. Ursa Major. Man, Horus Sirius. Probably the best view ever. Gonna stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. I just got a weird craving for uh, one of the little tiny oranges called cuties. Not sure how that came to be but it did okay so there's the creepy thing there's the bird it's in the junk pile next to the truck Just grab it. You're here. hey what closer. It's close, Sean. Uh, oh found it yes people fun. came here with ease and Aha! We're the best. Ooh. That's shiny. Like something's buried here. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Uh, 
Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Storm! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Is he gonna make me dance? Look at him go! Come on! Dance! Ha ha ha! Yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. That's awesome. Age of Region achievement unlocked. Neat. Oh, I kind of want to. Let's put that on. Nope. Not going to let me. Never mind. You're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Where? Where? You lie, Daniel. Here. There. Look at her cruising. Okay. Dan the billion. Here I come. Dan the what? Hello, Dan. You evil He's talking to a flower. What, did you see Flowey? This Undertale? Smash it. Don't let it become sentient. Watch out. <laughs> Sean, I'll move, move your over. ass. I feel like rolling truck. over you. That was weird. Ow, that's loud. Who's your friend? What's up, dude? Hey. To that I could get used to that scenery. Always bums me out. Remind Hey, what's uh, up? Uh, hey. Good morning. Apparently, I interrupted Howdy, a conversation, Sean? and they were talking the like they just saw each other in the morning, even though they hey, literally just trucks. driving around together. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. from Das Kapital. Jolie. Someone better get that reference. I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. Yeah, Hi, she baby. has cancer. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Oh, they're cute. Hey, so Stop. how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Pretty awesome. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Mm. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something. Is this David? Is that what his name? Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. Nope, that's a baseball. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Yeah, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. Ugh. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope we just did Daniel that. Didn't get scared by and we did that critters. for like yeah, three months. Not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. Yeah, you're scared. Um, does that kind of scare you? Me? Goddamn right it does. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. You're married? How many kids? Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or, in her case, a step douche. <laughs> 
I'm divorced now. But I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. Whoa! We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <laughs> nope. Wait a Thanks minute. For talking that's to not me. Life is Strange 1, start my David, right? Now. Found some weird snacks and uh, Chloe's stepdad. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> no way. Because I was gonna say he looks familiar. Catch you later, Sean. Holy oh. shit! What if that's okay. David from Life is Strange Time One? Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Holy Sean. Holy shit! <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Guys, I think it might be. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. Because Chloe did die. Oh my god. She's so cool. You think? You feel like he is Chloe's dad? Joanne is so cool. Stan yeah, right, is right. So cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it. Holy if I like shit, Dan. dude. It's like, why does he look so <laughs> familiar? You, it's a video game. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is. And that was true. They hated each other. Rest stop. I know. He probably would have said some, if it is him, he probably would have said something different if we chose to save Chloe. I do not want to eat pancakes. Birthday candles. Daniel's oh Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. <clears throat> That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Coffee, no, no decaf, trail mix, mousetrap, watermelon. Choco Crisp, of course. But it's from Arthur, that's funny. Baking powder, foot powder, shea butter, turmeric, ibuprofen, condoms, USB cord, dry cat food, sunscreen, measuring tape, AC filters, roasted nuts. Okay. Should we eat the pancakes? We didn't get waffles. It feels like a hundred degrees in that. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Five degrees out here. Yeah, I'm up for pancakes. You, he made smacking noises. I didn't like that. All right, we're good. to admit i do miss that pacific northwest weather i can't remember yeah i bet so you've been here over david a month and now. what was her name joyce what do you think of our little oasis? if that's right i feel awesome i know they were having problems but i didn't know if they would just worse <sighs> everybody's cool everybody's very cool and way i really need to pay attention to what they're talking about nobody's freaking out about daniel's power well sean it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it but people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes. I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. Hmm. How'd you find this place? So... How did you end up here? Burr, it's cold out here. The map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. That was the girl from She's the letter, right? She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. 
She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, 